Hello and welcome to this video for paper 2, the USA paper and some guidance on the four mark inference question, the first question on the paper. So what do you have to do on this question? You need to make one inference from a source and only one and you need to support that with some detail, some evidence from the source. So let's take a look at an example question. So what can you learn from source A about the USA in the 1920s? I've put that in red to make sure that you realise focusing on the question is important here. It's the main mistake that you could make, you could talk about the wrong thing. So let's read the source. During the 1920s, nearly every town in the USA had its own cinema. I'll step out of the way, you can pause it to read the rest if this is too fast. What do I do? I must make sure that I avoid paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means that you simply say what the source says in your own words, rather than adding anything new, rather than inferring something, okay? So if you say something, we can learn that during the 1920s, nearly every town in the USA had its own cinema. By 1929, over 110 Americans, million Americans were going to the cinema every week. That's just what the source says. That's not giving you anything extra, it's copying information. Inferences are things that you can work out from the source, but are not directly stated by it. So, let's have a look at some possible inferences you could make. We can learn that America was a place where going to the cinema became almost an obsession. That is an inference. We can learn that Americans were increasing spending time, increasingly spending their time on leisure activities. That is an inference. Unsupported inferences, you get two marks for one of them, you get three marks for two of them. So if you did both of those, that would be three marks, one of those, two marks. Make sure it's about the right things. This question, although it talks about Hollywood, is not about the movie industry, it's about the USA. So it needs to be more about society and so on. That's the importance of focusing on the question. So let's look at supported inference. There's one there. We can learn that America was a place where going to the cinema was an obsession. We know this because, and add a quote, and add a little bit of own knowledge there just to make it a very convincing inference. I know that America's population was about 120 million, so that shows just how big a percentage that is. Supported inference, four marks, job done, move on. You can do this very quickly. Try to spend less than five minutes on it, save some time for elsewhere on the paper. Quote the source. So to recap, make one inference from the source and support it with detail or quotes from the source.